through 7. I'm going to read from the New Living Translation. What is love? Well, this is God's definition of love. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and keeps no record of being wrong. It does, no, it does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. There is 14 qualities of love, and this is how you measure your faith. Number one, patient. Are you capable of waiting? <laughs> oh, we could just camp out on that one. How is your ability in waiting? That determines the quantity of faith because love will wait. Kindness, that word kindness is compassionate, generous, and agreeable. I like that last part, agreeable. <laughs> I got great faith, but I can't ever agree with my spouse. We can't ever agree on anything. No, you don't. Jealousness or being jealous, it's envious, demanding loyalty. A person that is jealous is always going to be demanding a loyalty. Well, if you would just be more committed to this. <laughs> wow, it got quiet up in here. That tells you the quantity of your faith by the quality of your love. Here's another one, boastfulness. Overemphasizes one's accomplishments. <laughs> Everybody's ever told a fish story before. Started out this, by the time you got home, it was this. Well, I built this business by the sweat of my brow. Mm -hmm. That's boastful. The word proud is arrogant, rude, ill-mannered, roughly made, offensive. If you're offensive to people, you don't have a lot of faith because faith works by love. Let me tell you something about love. Love always thinks of others more than themselves. Love, before it says anything, will think, how is that going to affect that person? Because being offensive doesn't even care what that person thinks. i got something to say. And that's proof of a lack of faith. Because it takes faith to not be offensive. Hallelujah, I could have so much fun. Now, demanding to request something forcefully. Love doesn't demand. Well, I'm the husband. I'm head of the household. Wife, submit. And, uh, no. And all the wives said, thank you. Hallelujah. I could go on more and more. Now, notice something here. Love is not irritable. Easily annoyed. I've been working on this one for a while now. <laughs> Amen. I, I really, come on, can we be honest? How many's ever got annoyed about something? Just something that annoys you. Hello. Chords on the stage. I work my faith on that. Because chords are annoying to me, and I have to, I have to work my faith. I walk in love with chords, praise the Lord. It might be something as, as simple as that, or it might be something that your husband or wife does, or something that your relation, in your relationships, or something at your business place that just annoys you. What well, takes faith not to be annoyed? Well, what gives you energy to have faith? Your love. Hallelujah. Now, here's another one. Love forgets the past. Well, you remember what you did to me last week? You don't have a whole lot of faith if you're bringing up the past. Here's another one. Always finds, love always finds the good in things. When somebody starts out arguing and looking at the bad, somebody that has faith and love will turn it and make it good. Here's another one. Faith doesn't, or, or love doesn't quit. Hallelujah. Well, I just don't like this job, but I quit. I'm just done. I'm quit. I'm done. No. It takes faith to walk in love. I'm done with this marriage. All he does is just gripe and complain. No. Love doesn't quit. Love doesn't doubt. I'm just going to go through here very fast because y'all are too quiet right now. Love doesn't doubt. Love expects great things. That word expecting, it actually means confidently believing. 
And then love endures all things. It bears hardships. I mean, you know, we live in a wicked world. There's going to be hard things that happen. Your faith and your love is what's going to get you through it. I mean, you, we, we can't think that once you're saved, you're going to live on a bed of roses. When you get saved, the devil doesn't like you. He liked you before. He don't like you now. So if you think it's, it's going to be a bed of roses, it's not. But I'll tell you, um, it's going to, your life will be a whole lot better from it. Amen. Because victory is so much sweeter whenever you have a trial that you overcome through Jesus. Amen. Much like Miami last week. <clears throat> Miami Heat, just in case you, you heard that. I'm closing. I'm done. Hallelujah. You guys enjoyed the message tonight? We're going to talk about some other things. In fact, Sunday, we're going to talk about how greater is going to take place through humility. Hallelujah. So how many know we got to be humble? Hallelujah. Not prideful, but humble. Did you get anything tonight? Hallelujah. I hope you took good notes tonight. If not, um, this message will be on our website. You can go back and listen to it again. Um, I don't know if you guys knew this, but we have a lot of messages on our website that you can go back and you can actually watch. You can pull it up at work or whatever the case may be. Um, so we have that available for you. So um, go ahead and watch it. Go ahead and watch it. If you might have missed the message or if you missed a part of a message, go back and watch. How many watches our website? Watches some of the video on our website. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, I appreciate you guys doing that. Do that on a weekly basis. That's what it's there for. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, bow your head. Let me pray for you. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you so much for this evening. Lord, I thank you for your word. I thank you, Lord, that you're greater. And God, you are greater than anything. And Father, we choose to be a people that walk in love. And we thank you, Lord, that our love walk is what energizes our faith. And Lord, our faith is full of, full of life now. And we choose to walk by, by love and walk in love and walk by faith. Lord, as we leave tonight, we thank you, Lord, for your strength. We thank you, Lord, that you do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ever ask or think. We give you the praise and the glory for it in Jesus' name. And everybody said, amen. Why don't you go ahead and stand on your feet, hug somebody by the neck, tell them I'm glad you made it tonight. And you are dismissed. Have a wonderful evening. We'll see you on Sunday.